Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey. In BL tonight, first up, we've got ticker symbol JBG. That's Jamaica Broilers Group, leading poultry chicken company right here in Jamaica. Senior manager purchasing up to 154,422 shares on July 22nd, 2020. Next up, we've got Supreme Ventures, resignation of director here. Uh, the company SVL makes it clear. In this case, this is Mr. Ian Moore, that he has reached you know, the end of his tenure as an independent director. That is seven years and it's in, in accordance with SVL's corporate governance guidelines. And the date is effective July 30th, 2020. Now, Grace Kennedy, GK, had some fantastic results we're going to talk about it later this week on Business Live. Interim dividend here of 40 cents per share. It's payable on September 24th, uh, 2020. You see the company doing a great job really putting out their management discussion and analysis. We're just talking about their earnings even when they're declaring a dividend. So talk about corporate communications. There are some changes there recently and investor relations by the company. No medical disposable and supplies. You know, earnings being quite on a roller coaster, but decent revenue growth. Notice of their annual general meeting, that's the AGM. It's gonna be held October 6, 2020, at 10 a.m. in the morning at 83 Hagley Park Road. Now, last up, we've been talking about this continuously on business life. You know, the trend is your friend. We've been seeing, look at the consumer credit market. Look at what's happening with these microfinance companies. You know, the profits were really teetering for the last, you know, six, nine, 12 months. You know, a lot of persons out there were seeing or analysts in the market that with the impending regulation coming, the profits were gonna kind of move down. But we're talking about, you know, let's say impairments here or just profits really weakening. So we're talking about Access's first quarter here for the June 30th. You know, a huge, you know, tumble in profits so you know earnings drop into 33 million dollars so just above 30 million dollars as compared to 165 million Jamaican dollars last year now let's talk about earnings per share Let's translate it to EPS. That's 12 cents Jamaican versus 60 cents. Now loans and advances, you know, flat year over year. We haven't seen that for many years. Maybe that's five years or longer. You know, we're not exactly sure about that, but that's what we're talking about there. So flat year over year, 4.05 billion Jamaican dollars, you know, compared to say roughly 4.11 billion. So that tells you not only are they pulling back, being very careful about disbursements, but shrinking a little bit. So clearly, Proven got this right. You know, they, you know, let's say did the additional uh, public offering, sold down some shares, pulled back their share holding by half or so, booked those gains to get some great profits at Proven Investments and offloaded those shares into, whether it's NCB bought up the shares, QWI Investments bought up the shares, but they timed this as they usually do very smartly and good move there by Proven and Chris Williams. I'm Mark Crossgrey, this is Business Life.